Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and uh, welcome to the preview for Gravel Poly Track. Uh, this is Monday, the 24th of May, and a bit gruff to this morning because we watched the uh, golf till the end. And uh, the tractor driver, well, he never made a putt, otherwise, he would have won. And he was my fancy, I really thought he could win. This was a perfect tournament for him. But um, well done to Mickelson, slappy face as we call him. Um, he certainly put on a show um, for a man his age. I mean, just shows you. Uh, so maybe I'll go back on the tour, but uh, not before I do the preview. Twelve twenty first race. We've got an eight race program, eighteen hundred meter uh, qualified maiden plate. Well, I never. Here we go. Anyway, uh, the right horse here is number two, Rizzoli. Carl Hewitson, Lyle Hewitson, they look like they've got it all sewn up. This is an ex-Alexander inmate and um, certainly got the form to be able to win this race. The horse to be careful of is Maxime Dumont, now in uh, Mark Dixon's name. Uh, and uh, it's come back from a rest. If it's fit, it's got a chance. Uh, there's Kuntaknita needed his last run, could improve patronage from a wide draw, some sort of chance. but. Uh, I go very strongly with Rizzoli in the first. I think it's the right horse. Race two, uh, Phillies and Mares, 1,800 metres. And um, Winter Time, I think, is the right horse here. And I think this is an, another one that's really worth having a bet on. She's drawn a bit wide. She gets Randolph, who's ridden her a couple of times. The last run was very good. And um, this is the right race for her, too. So the danger is Capriccio, very good last course and distance one from three, that's number four on the card. Mission Beach for the drier outfits, run a couple of fair races, might improve. And then Parkdale, if you're looking for a big roughie, Billy Jacobson gets a leg up. Uh, third run after a rest, lots to like about her, could be a big improver with Budra, who shows a lot of pace, may be able to get away from them. Race three, mirror rated 70, 2,000 meters. And as I say with this poly track racing, you never know because of the pace and um, how the, uh, the race is run. But it's, the wide draws can be an absolute disaster or they can be an absolute blessing because uh, if they go fast enough, you get in and you get in off the pace and uh, you're able to run on at them up the outside, especially up the Golden Highway. If they go slow, then the front horses win and the horses with the best draws win. So let's have a look at the third. It's a merit rate of 72,000 meters. And I made this a two horse race too. Uh, I thought just for the penny, if she gets a trip, uh, if he gets a trip, he's the right horse uh, for Eve for Nathan Kotzen, number nine on the card. And Star Crusade, I thought this was a big danger. With the jockey booking of Hewitson on this one, I thought have a very close look. Uh, third run, really lots to like about Star Crusade. Got to have a big chance here. Command controls your favourite. Well, his last run was a cracking good run. And on that, he deserves to be favourite. And straight up, there's nothing between the two of them. Race four, mirror rated 64. They go 1,600 metres. And uh, my top choice here was uh, Eager Duchess, Lyle Hewitson again for the Gareth and Zell stable, number five. Um, much improved last time Lyle rode it last time there was a big jockey up and why I picked this horse over number four is that I think Lyle would have had the choice between Royal Kitty and Eager Duchess he's taking the ride on Eager Duchess that uh, indicates that might be the better of the two because he did ride Royal Kitty his last three starts and has got beaten uh, to not far in two out of its last three uh, Sun Tracks gets Carl Stratum. Oh, that's Scratch. Sorry. Inga Kara was the other horse I was looking at. Uh, Nicholas Patel got to have some sort of chance here as well. But I think that you'll find Inga Duchess and Royal Kitty might find it out. Cozy.com is worth a mention. Improved loss, course, second, two wins. So uh, Cozy.com goes into play as well. Race five. 1400, merit rated 65. If ever I've seen a field race, this is it. But if you have to pick out a horse, I'm going with Smart William. He looks like he's ready. Uh, the run before last, the 1400 course and distance, um, was very good behind Precious Love. Gets Donovan Dillon this time. Huge, huge chance. What a blast uh, is a big, big danger. The one from two course and distance, he goes well here. Montana Sky's got good form and Lightning Spirit's course and distance suited. Um, so they would be the horses that I would chuck in if I'm going short, but I'm, I think it's a field race. Race six, Mary rated 73,000 meters. 
Winter Waves, I've got to go with this one, number four on the card, Carl Stradham for Alison Wright. Uh, lots to like about this horse's form. Got the pedigree and probably a lot better than Raiders. Only rated 74. Um, the Winter Waves, that's, uh, the profile shows it's a better horse than 74. One win in three places in seven. Were the dangers? Mallorca Palace fast. Lyle gets a uh, leg up on it. Number six for his father. Just a guy. Things course and distance. Rocket fires course and distance. And mindset. One from two course and distance. So far, uh, I think needs more ground. But if they go very fast, could be a runner. But winter waves for me. Race seven. Merry rated 73, 1200 meters. And I'm going with Royal View. Stewie Randolph gets back on it. He knows her very well, Stewie, and she's got to draw. Uh, if she can just get a posse and be able to quicken, she's got to have a big chance. Uh, Al Smear looked to me to be the danger. Donovan Dillon half over. Number nine, Al Smear. Um, two from two places, course and distance. Could be an improver in the race and 10 to 1. Um, what else is there? Danya. Could improve over the 1200 meters all in all i can only see those three uh, bella ballerina uh, the stables come to a bit of form and lyle hewitt's and right at side go and go with that as well race eight um phillies and mares 65 1200 meters and i make this an absolute uh, three corner contest matadora's parade course and distance won very well last time got the draw um, and got up to win going away and didn't get a big penalty, got a kilo. I think very, very good good runner here. Rachel got good form uh, and uh, certainly looks like she could be in the number one box. And someone exciting, number six. I've been following this horse. She gets too far out of her ground, this um, mare, but if Godden, Tristan Godden can get her a bit closer and get a clear run on her, that's what she needs. And they go fast enough, she got a big chance. All in all, as you know, with these race meetings at uh, Gravel on the Poly, uh, nightmare. You've got to get lucky the way you structure. You've got to take some fields because some of these, uh, these races are impossible to find winners. And uh, as I said, all depends on the pace. But I'd go early in the day and have a few bets. And before that, get on the Interbet Games and have a very good Monday. Great start to the week from me, James Goodman, and Interbet. Have a good day.